Red recently launched a brand new update to their app called Red Tools, and version 2.0 brings a brand new design and support for a bunch of different cameras. Now, while the functionality has remained the same as previous versions, I feel like a lot of Red users don't really know about this app, and I want to take you through um, what's in it and how you can use all of the features to really help you get the most out of your camera. So opening up the app, this is what we have right here. We have a bunch of different tools, crop factor, recording time, flicker free video, depth of field, panning speed, and exposure. So let's start off the top with crop factor. So here we can see a picture of our um, frame. So we're gonna be having a picture of the Red Studios in Hollywood, been there, it's actually pretty cool. Um, where you're going to go ahead and say what we want to compare our picture to. So Right now it's set to a 35 millimeter still frame. I'm gonna set the camera type first and we'll come back to that. So if we go to our camera, I am shooting with the Red Scarlet X, so Mysterium X, and I'm gonna be shooting in 4K HD. As you can see, that is the um, internal spot. That is what my picture is actually gonna be recording as compared to a 35 millimeter still frame. Now I can change that comparison. So let's say I want to do Mysterium X full format. So if I'm gonna be comparing my 4K, which I'm actually gonna shoot in compared to what the camera can get in as big as, as full frame, then that's a great way to do it. And we can also adjust our focal length. So I'm gonna be doing 18 millimeters right there. And then we can click this button for a bunch more information. You can do that within all of the pages. Back on the home page, we can do our recording time, which is awesome. I use it all of the time. We will select our camera. So again, I am using the Scarlet Mysterium X and I'm using the 120 gigabyte mini mag and 4K HD. It also gives you the aspect ratio, which is awesome. And I'm shooting in 24 frames per second, red code eight to one. And I have a 120 gigabyte SSD. And with that settings, it will say it's gonna be writing at about 33 megabytes per second. So if you're doing an external recorder, you can kind of get an idea for that as well. But I should have about 62 minutes of record time. So with a 122 gigabyte mini mag, I get uh, 62 minutes and I can also input whatever space I have remaining. So let's say I only have 100 gigabytes left. I can put that in and it'll work out perfectly. Next we have flicker free video and this is great for um, whether you're traveling outside of the country and you are um, working somewhere that you don't usually work in. So we can pick our power frequency, North America or Europe and most of Asia, and frame rate, 24 frames per second. And it's showing me that I can use any shutter angle and any corresponding shutter speed. So um, that's a great way to always check to make sure you're not gonna have any flicker. Really 24, 25, 30 frames per second is not gonna have an issue, but when we get up to like 60 frames per second, stuff like that, that's when it could maybe be pretty useful um, for higher shutter speeds. Next we have depth of field, which is actually pretty awesome. I use this a lot for deciding how far my subject can move before it falls out of focus. So again, we'll select our camera type. So we'll say Mysterium X in 4K HD. I have an aperture of two, focal length of 18. And my focal distance, I can pick how far and in what unit. We'll just say 15 for now. Just saying maybe we can set that right here. And now it's gonna show me that my nearest focal distance is 10.6 feet. My farthest is 25.48. Um, my total distance that it can move is 14.86 feet. So I know I have about 14 feet of wiggle room between when it's gonna be out of focus. So that's pretty useful. Next we have panning speed. It's not something to use a lot, but you know, it may, um, be something that you want as well. So we'll just set our settings again. Focal length, frame rate, and panning angle so you can decide how far you want to pan. We'll just say about 45 degrees. So in order for it to look smooth and nice, they're saying I should have a total duration of 5.3 seconds, moving 8.6 degrees per second. So if you're really into math, you can precisely measure that, but it's probably more for automated um, panning. So if you're gonna be motorized panning, that's the suggested settings that you should use if you're gonna be doing automation. And finally, exposure, this is awesome. And it's a little bit complicated, but I use this a lot. And this is um, your exposure difference. And I use this a lot for ND filters. So 
let's say that in order to properly expose this shot, I am going to be doing um, 180 degrees for my shutter angle, frame rate of 24. And let's say I'm outside, it's bright. I'm gonna to need to take this up to um, F16 or T16, they have T stops on there. But that means I have six stops difference and that's not great. So let's say I want to have my target aperture being F4 or T4, whatever. And now it shows I need four stops and that's great. So now I know I need four stops of ND in order to reach that T4 that I want. So now I can go into here and it will show me my conversion. So 0.3 is the equivalent of one stop. So that gets a little bit confusing at times. So now I can see um, that I'm going to need two stops and it will tick away. So it showed me that I'll need an ND of 1.2, a four stop difference in order to reach my target T4 aperture. So that's pretty awesome. I use that a lot and that is the RED Tools app. But there you go. I hope this video helped you out in getting the most out of your RED camera. The update is free and the app is free. So why not check it out? It's for iOS. I'll drop a link to it down below. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for much more RED videos. This is Mark and I'll see you in the next one.